Welcome. My name is Penelope Chatterton. Welcome to Awaken the Dream. My friends, Diane Doheny is back with me this week to discuss The Infinite Way. We want to try and explain Joel's work to you. We had a wonderful time in our last session, but I kind of wonder if we should break it down a little bit for you because we like to live mystically, and we want to try and explain that. So welcome back. Thank you. The principles of The Infinite Way, oh, they're simple. They're so simple. Um, Omnipresence. Mm. Let's start with the fact that we're all one. Let's start with the most basic. I and my father are one. There's no good and evil. There are no two powers. Now, let's, maybe you can help me with how to explain what are the two powers. Good and evil? Fear and love? Are there two? Uh, yeah. Are there two? Are there two? Mm. Are there two? Well, I think the way Joel explains, there is one God. There is one power. There is one infinite love, infinite life, eternal. Yeah. And yet, we are human beings, and our ego does, um, is subjected to Why do we do that influence. to ourselves? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we can help it. And I think he's pretty understanding himself. I don't think we mean to. You think he um, forgives us? <laughs> yes. Oh, I believe we're forgiven all the time. Um, forgive them, God. They know not what they yeah. do. I think that we are influenced a great deal. Oh, my gosh. During the political season, oh. during the weather, during all the outside the weather. influences. Sure. We have a um, tendency to judge. And that's where we build the two camps. Yes. There's good and bad and right and wrong, and that's where all the problems, I believe, and the trauma yeah. and the drama, I yeah. should say, begins. You said that so well. There's one power, there's one God, and he's all good, and he's all love, and there's nothing else that's going the on. That's yeah. If we could stay there, heaven on earth, fourth dimension living. Yeah. But now, that's a good question, because Joel talks of the fourth dimension. I notice healers today are talking about the fifth. Yeah. I mean, what's the difference? It's like, probably a seventh. <laughs> I think it's the deeper and deeper that yeah. we go below the noise, below the confusion, the yeah. mesmeric influence, as he talks about. I think the deeper we go into the silence, I think that there is a whole other realm. Yeah. How do you think? There's a great equation, too, about going into the silence. I love the way you said that, because the deeper that, if, if you're really needing it and you're a little lost, you got to be patient with yourself and give yourself that time right. to really go within until you really get there. Absolutely. You know, and even if your head prattles, I notice Joel says, just let it. Oh, no. you know, don't fight it. Yeah, that committee up there is going to yeah. be going on all the time. <laughs> um, you know, when you said that, it reminded me of um, recently I um, went to an Infinite Way class, and again, I told you in yeah. Arizona. Yeah. And this was Kenny Lasowski's uh, class. It was wonderful to be with Infinite Way students, 60 from all over the country, <sighs> for a week. I mean, we are on the fourth dimension for the uh, majority of the, the week. Yeah. We day, do a day in silence on Wednesday. There is no talking. There's no chatter. And yet, everyone goes to the same place. We all know it, sometimes for the first time, but everyone seems to, I don't know how to explain this, but you travel in a different realm. Yeah. And I think that's why when they talk about fourth dimension, fifth dimension, it's without that internal chatter. Yeah. And that comes from directly from silence yeah. and from going within. I like to say sometimes, I'm not here. I am not here. I am not from here. I have this body, yes, right. I have this mind. We're instruments. Mm -hmm. But I know that soul, the invisible part of me, is really who I am. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is honoring how perfect we are is very helpful. Going into that space where the experience of feeling good, I love the way you said that, feeling mm -hmm. good, right. yeah. Because there's a lot that we don't feel good about that we have to work through. Absolutely. He, Joel said it wasn't going to be easy. No. And in fact, you know, I always say, I'm in this world, but I'm not of it. Yeah. When I'm conscious, <laughs> I'm not of it. Yeah. And yet, and Joel also said, and, and many, many teachers have probably reiterated it, it doesn't mean things aren't going to happen because we're on a spiritual path. Yeah. But boy, is it going to be easier. Yeah. You know, yeah. in many ways, we're given green lights if we are conscious of the time and the space that we spend pre-praying before we go into meditation. And yeah. I love that expression. <laughs> Again, I'm borrowing these from all sorts of people. I guess there's no plagiarism. That's okay. There's no plagiarism in the infinite oh, way. We you share, may be we sued. Share it. <laughs> we share all the information. But I believe to go into that state of pre-prayed and prepared before yeah. you go into the meditation. Yeah. It helps the committee up there yeah. quiet down. Yeah. Yeah. And then you find that level of deep, deep silence. Yeah. Joel says something that will come to you will give you that click. If you have to rest in trying a few ideas, right. it's a good thing to do to remember. Mm -hmm. And our studies, Joel does not say don't study. 
Right. I mean, he thinks that's all wonderful, right. but it's to take you to the place where you, the, it's a challenge Absolutely. and it's a beautiful challenge. And you know, why do we love challenges? Mm. I, I think it's exciting. Well, you I mean, find I'm, something new about yourself. Yeah. You know, you're a new creature. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, uh, not that we get bored, but we can. Not I think sure. we're all so creative and we're so mission bound right. and we're given something to do that you want to make it richer and you want to keep right. making it better. Right. I think that's within us, don't you? I do. And again, you know, that, that ego has to be in the world. We need an ego. We need to know, okay, we drive 55 yeah. miles an hour. We have an <laughs> you need a license. <laughs> And have you had your vaccination? <laughs> yeah, really, all the rules and the laws and the conditions and the programs. And I think that, again, from what I've gathered from the Infinite Way, I mean, I read about meditation before I started meditating. Yeah. I would read, you know, whether it's Thunder of Silence, you know, and um, The Art of Spiritual Healing. Yeah. All these books I would read about and know that it was the truth. Yeah. But then, you know, into my everyday nine to five reality, try to do something. Well, when I'm trying, I'm not there. Yeah. There's something that does, and it takes patience, I believe, it takes that patience. we do cross over to that place where we're really tuned in and listening. I know. You know? Yeah. I just love the idea that we're so loved mm -hmm. that, and we're all so precious. And God just wants the very best for all of us. And it's there. Mm -hmm. You know, that's it the is. simplicity of the infinite way. Everything's there. Everything's perfect. And I used to chuckle at my dad when he would, uh, with his Christian science, if, mm. about these platitudes. And, you know, it was easy to tease when you were a little kid and you didn't quite understand about, what do you mean I'm not sick or my appendix don't need to come out? Right. You know, some of those war stories. Yeah. Um, now I'm laughing because my kids can now do that to me if they want. Yeah. But, I mean, to live as a mystic, does not everyone is automatically going to understand you. Joel wants us to be discerning. Absolutely. I know I'm plagiarizing <laughs> that. again. Yeah, I'm plagiarizing <laughs> again here, but whoever said it, and I do know. It's like, you know, when you do good deeds, oh, you're going to be a hero. Everybody's going to love it. But when you do God deeds, ah. you're going to be misunderstood at times, sometimes ah. crucified. I know. Because there is a lack of understanding. And, and it's considered almost blasphemy. Yeah. To, you know, to say, I am... Um, you know, I deal again, on, I, there's a very thin line when I'm working in my office because I believe I'm teaching spiritual principles and I believe to the best of my ability I'm living those, I hope yeah. so. Yeah. And yet when people come in and they're suffering yeah. and I try to change the language first. Good. One man came in and he would continue to tell oh, this is such a struggle and it's a struggle. I said, you know, do you well not to use that word anymore? Because our words are very powerful. Yeah. But if you're yeah. not going to struggle and you're not going to have to do something Who's in charge? Uh, now that's that's a real transition for people. Oh yeah. yeah. When we can do that, then we have a safety net. Yeah. Yeah. But I know that there are people out there that maybe haven't reached that place yet. Yeah. Well, and that's, that's where I think I was heading about discretion. Um, I think we can trust that we will attract like souls, mm -hmm. and I don't know about you, but if there's some going something going on in my life that's just not a match. We got to be okay with that. Right. Sometimes, you know, the martyr in me who thinks everybody's got it's got to work for everybody. It can't right. always work for everybody because everyone might be in a different place. And as you say, they might look at you like you don't want them to talk about you to your neighbor because they might think you're a little j crazy mm -hmm. because of the fact that you do live in a dimension they don't understand. So, right. how can we work with discretion? I guess we can just trust the soul. Mm -hmm. But as you said that, you went like this. Yeah. Soul is within. Yeah. It's, intimate, it's in an intimate place. That's what I mean. And yet, we most have been taught that it's going to be out there oh, and it's yeah. going to come in and save us. Yeah. You know, that's why again that word soul. Um, it's a you can say God, you can say spirit, consciousness, soul, but it has to be intimate. Yeah. It has to be within. Yeah. yeah. I like invisible energy too. Mm -hmm. I like invisible. See again those words. Yeah. Isn't it amazing where we can go I know. When, with just I know. words? I know. So I guess what I'm trying to say is I have to forgive myself if I can't fix it and be with everyone where they are. Right. Uh, I think it's okay. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And that's why I think I'm sticking with Joel right now mm -hmm. because I really want those like minds. I want to have the support of my mission. I want to support others in their mission and I want to serve. That's nice. And I think serving that's really nice. is, is a... Yeah. 
is a reason to be here and it makes you full. Absolutely. It's <laughs> interesting that you should say that because I was thinking what we're really doing is building a network of light. Uh, you know, yeah. it is very secret, very sacred, very silent in a way. And yet there's a certain synchronicity when you meet people like I love when someone tells me they know Joel Goldsmith in an infinite way. I have an automatic connection You're on your with knees. That. Yeah, I have an automatic connection with that person because again, there's only one language, there's only one love, there's one, you know, yeah. one God. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting too to have many paths to and because they were all they were all so perfect. Every one I was on, yes. I ate it up. I lived it. Mm -hmm. And and that's where loving everyone where they are is key yeah. in the infinite way or to be mystical right. is wherever anyone is is perfect mm -hmm. and we were talking about kids and having to accept wherever they are mm -hmm. and just accept right don't try and fix it don't say oh i got it maybe i can you know right it sounds altruistic because we're going to be fixers yeah but ultimately the spiritual principles of healing is to number one recognize there's no problem Exactly. Oh, I love when that. I go Thank into, you. Yeah, when I go into my private, quiet, healing space, I have to remember not to bring anyone with me in any conditions. And I don't know how Joel did it, but I'm still learning. Yeah. You know, he really, truly, yeah. he would have calls from everywhere in the world. I know. And within two or three minutes. I mean, I sit with an hour in my, cl in my class, and that's what it feels like. I sit yeah. in my office with someone for an hour. And I'll listen to the story for a while, but then I have to just say, that's not the truth. Yeah. Tell me what the truth is. Yeah. And that's where the spiritual principles, again, we revert back yeah. to those. Joel loves the word nothing. Nothing Nothingizing. Yes, nothingizing. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's a leap. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's, a, that's one that not everybody would instantly understand. What do you mean, I don't have, or right. I, I don't I just got need. the diagnosis. Yeah. I, right. Yeah. I love it when people can come back and as Christian scientists do, they give testimony and they say, it's gone, that, that it's gone, that diagnosis, that tumor, it's gone. Yeah. Yeah. And you know, I don't know why we have to go through the trials and tribulations that we do, except that I know that when people finally find that something happened and they didn't do it, but a part of them did, do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, That's I do kind of a big mean. term. But yeah. Yeah, accepting even where you were once mm -hmm. because you've changed right. and daring to maybe defy the diagnosis. Yeah. That takes courage. Yeah. And sometimes we do get help from the medical profession. I mean, Absolutely. I, I, my, life, Very much my life have been saved a couple of times mm -hmm. over mm -hmm. emergency surgery, so I can never right. judge that because no. as Joel says, we doctors are divine too. That's right. So. I think that's all part of the guidance of if we're here, mm -hmm. and guidance does take us to a place where we may be able to get some help right. with medical or whatever, it's mm -hmm. okay. Absolutely. We, I mean, as much as we might prefer it to be more idealistic, right. we're on a path, we're getting better, we're students. Right. And that's what I like about the infinite way, we're all students. Absolutely. Yeah. We Learning use that word. Every day. Every day. Learning every day. Yep. You know, showing up in class. Yeah, I know yeah. That. But our friends, really, I think what we need to help them with is the privacy, and the presence, and mm -hmm. the realizing, and the feeling good. Boy, right. that was key for me when your last program. Mm -hmm. Feeling good. Mm -hmm. Then yeah. you know you're in the truth. Yeah, you know right. you're in the truth because yeah. we should be feeling good. I mean, there's. I love too the expression. You come from an unthreatened being. Yeah. There's nothing to defend, there's nothing to beat, there's nothing to win. And in this society, my goodness, we are so competitive. We are <laughs> right in the midst of the political season. Oh, you know, that's and I such love a Joel. Oh, I love Joel's on the elections, his little booklet. Did you ever read no. that? Oh, that's a oh, share that. I'll get it to you. Uh, it's, um, we're not Democrats, we're not Republicans, we want independence. But we know within the silence where we are and who we are. Yeah. You know, that's really the main I election know. that takes place. Yeah. Think of all the uh, organizations and the beliefs. Mm -hmm. I mean, in every category that you can imagine, there is a variety of different beliefs. Absolutely. And where anyone is, I have to keep saying that for myself to in accepting wherever mm -hmm. anyone is, and you help me with that, is it's okay. Because yeah. we're all okay anyway. We're mm -hmm. all, we're not dying, that's key. Right. I think Joel has mentioned that. There is no death. And that, that's, and that's a big one to get to because I know for myself when I'm talking to clients and I do a lot of group work and I try my best to know that I come from another planet I guess because when I start <laughs> to talk in these ways they look, what? What? But if there is no birth and there is no death then we understand really what life is eternal. Yeah. If you're not fearing death 
what's left to fear? That's right. You if know, you can get that one. Oh, boy. You know, and again, believe me, I am learning every day, and I, I humbly say to you that I really will probably be a student until I leave this dimension until the next one. Oh, myself included. But boy, you know, <clears throat> to know those principles, and yeah. not to be governed by beliefs necessarily, yeah. Yeah. and the program we came in with, yeah. I think that's the gift. Yeah. Now, how do we handle the suffering we see in the world? I think that's a big hook. We'll talk about nothingizing. Yes. You nothingize Oof. it. Yes. That's a tough that's one. A, tough a plane one. goes down, 300 sure. dead. Sure. They're, they're off into the next room. Yeah. But you I don't mean, tell that to a loved one but, who's missing and feeling uh, lost. Exactly. In a higher consciousness, there is no loss, no one's missing. There is no lack, there's no limitation. Now, those sound great, but yeah. when you're talking to someone, and yeah. I just recently did, and um, this one person had a lot of loss going on yeah. and a lot of um, mishaps that were going on. You are there, and you, you and your own private secret, silent, secret, secret place. Thank you, secret, secret. You know the truth. Yeah. Your knowing the truth is enough to be with them, and that's what they need to know, that you are just with them. They yeah. are not alone. Yeah. But I'm learning the hard way because I, I want to, you can't teach at those moments. You can't tell someone something that they, they are not feeling. It's hard not to suffer with someone who's suffering. Right. And, and that is a gift. Right. You can feel with them. I mean, it, I mean, Joel did say something about a rocky path. That, mm -hmm. you know, that sometimes the harder it is, the more loss, maybe the more abandonment issues we have. Mm -hmm. There are gifts in that because Absolutely. you have to struggle out of right. that. You've got to find some, Absolutely. some peace. Yep. Yeah, so, yeah, a rough life can be a, a, a genius life. It can be the best life because right. of the growth. Right. Yeah. I have a little friend, and uh, she's well into her 90s, and, and yeah. she's just gone through some trials recently. But she says, you know, Diane, the Lord will never give us more to go through than he will the strength to go through it. And Aww. I mean, this woman has gone through so many, but she just has a faith, a deep faith. And yeah. I mean, I've talked to her about Joel in the Infinite Way, yeah. which is really wonderful to be yeah. able to, someone who has um, had the notion that God was always out there yeah. or up there, yeah. and yet to see her internalize it, even in her oh. 90s, to get and to feel and to know that that is always yeah. there, you know, and that she, no matter what she goes through, she's going to be safe. Yeah. It's you know, beautiful. what's the difference between belief and knowledge? Because I like the fact that knowledge mm. is like, there's no, we're not Factual fighting. Law. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, there is no death. Fake, That's fake security in a way. You know, as long yeah. as I know one and one is two, <laughs> I'm going to be okay. But the knowledge of there is no death, for instance, rather than the belief or I think it, there isn't any. I mean, there's those, those words that, the words. Right, exactly. Yeah, I like the word knowledge because that's pretty, mm -hmm. that's, accurate, it's what it is, right. and we're not going to mess with it because that's right. the truth. Yeah. Like as you say, God does not have, you know, good and evil. I mean, right. there's only a pure spirit. Beyond thoughts and words. Yeah. I love that book. Yeah. And I think that that's sometimes where we need to go. Um, words are limiting. Yeah. And I think that um, what we're trying to talk about is something that's so invisible and so infinite. We get into trouble sometimes, yeah. you know, because there's no defining what yeah. it is that we feel sometimes. And you can't get there through your head. Yeah. You know, it's really got to be a heartfelt. You know, I love feeling. to tear up mm -hmm. myself in my prayer life. I find that sometimes when I really hit something mm -hmm. that I'm really dealing it's with and yeah. I shed those tears, I feel such joy in mm -hmm. the capacity to feel. Right. Yeah. That's Knowing I'm not alone doing that. Right. Yeah. The prayers of the heart are, yeah. As you say, Absolutely. it's not out there. No. It's, yeah. no, it's an inside job. It's an inside job. So Joel has written, what, over 30, 40 books? 49 that, that, that I know that Tapes. Acropolis has is more than that, I believe, too. But, um, and yeah. I need to do a little more research. But I do know that Acropolis has 49. So acropolisbooks.com is mm -hmm. where people can order books mm -hmm. and tapes. and. Oh, it's, it's wonderful because it gives you a description of the books. Yeah. It breaks down. I mean. Uh, Marty and uh, Liz Parker, I think I told you about them. They live in California, and they did the yeah. website. It's a wonderful website because it gives you the knowledge yeah. and, yeah. The, and the direction to go if you're looking for, yeah. you know, the guidance. You know, to sit here with you, I'm chuckling because I'm not used to sitting with anybody in the infinite way. Oh, wow. You're like number one. Um, I mean, I have 
been in touch with Chris Bentley, who mm -hmm. I think I sent yes, you his you website. Did, yes. He's very active, and I've communicated with him, and I really admire his work mm -hmm. and his website. But you're yes. actually the first person I've seen in person. Isn't that funny? Well, you know, and I'm name dropping all over the place. I hope everyone's <laughs> okay with that because these have been my teachers, all of these people that are out yeah. in the infinite way. I've learned so much from each and every one of them yeah. and their own individual expressions. Yeah. You know, when I talked about Virginia, and I hope she doesn't mind this, but oh. she was one of the five original teachers that. Joel asked to carry the message. Yeah. And her work on the Bible and the scriptures is just amazing. And I mean, I have chills as I'm talking because um, truly she is a gift. She really has that, you know, she embodies the infinite way principles. Yeah. And to have known Joel and traveled throughout the world, I would he love and to Emma. have known him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Yeah. I think. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, that first book that I opened up, parenthesis, I, 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 I was just overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. I mean, there, there was absolutely no turning back. It's very yeah. interesting when something clunks on your head. And I, and I also like the way Joel says you are put on a path and everything will unfold for you. Just right. hang on. That's right. Yeah. Just, yeah. yeah. The ride is on, is yeah. on, and it just trust that whatever is supposed to happen next, it's, it's going to happen. Right. Just, it'll be done for you. That's what I like. Joel said, it's going to be done for you. Yeah. He, he had a way of gently, I think, leading people, not always gently, but mostly. Yeah, I, well, yeah he, can be, he could be harsh, too. I mean, believe me, I've edited his work and done the calendar and tried to pick out things that I know that people will either understand for the first time or seasoned students would understand. But he had a way of gently leading you back to yourself, your true self, yeah. your true identity. Yeah. You know, I think that was, um, for me anyway, that was the importance yeah. of the work. Yeah. Interesting for us all in the on the earth plane, in this dimension, in these bodies that are mm -hmm. dense and with these minds, to know that this isn't it. I mean, that this is something that we're in a learning experience. Mm -hmm. We can grow from all of this. One parenthesis. Well, yeah, one parenthesis at a time. Right. Yeah, we're here to serve, and I know that each parenthesis takes us closer to a special something. Right. To do. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah. I love. I want everyone to know that too. Mm -hmm. That. It's that if, if you're not happy and excited and um, feeling fulfilled in our last couple of minutes, hang on, ask. Right. Go within and ask. Right. Okay, and our last two minutes, advice to our friends. Mm. If you're not passionate mm. or you're not feeling like you don't know what to do, right. don't give up. No. No. In fact, that's just the beginning of a yeah. beautiful spiritual journey yeah. because it starts with surrender, asking, helping, you know, just asking for help. Yeah. You know, to know the truth, the truth will set you free, but you have to know the truth. Yeah. And Studying doesn't hurt. Not at all. A book, a person, place, a thing, but yeah. something's going to bring you to that understanding. Yeah. 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 And when that happens, and then you get to see the unfolding. I don't know. I think God has a great sense of humor. Some of the funniest things can happen right. where it's like, oh, you've got to be kidding. You know, there's, yeah. there's fun and mm -hmm. joy and happiness. And it, it shows up in so many ways. It really does. And, you know, it's funny about feeling. We were talking earlier about feeling pain. There's such joy in being able to do that. All the ego has to go away. You mm -hmm. have to be able to be okay with feeling. Right. And that's... Miracles Absolutely. happen with feeling. Yeah. Well, I have to cut away, but Diane yeah. Doheny, thank you again for <laughs> thank making you, this trip. I really am it's loving my this. It's pleasure. Me too. So easy to sit with you. Me too. Thank you. And thank you, my friends, for joining me on Awaken the Dream. We will talk to you again soon.